Before you remove the headlight unit in the sprinter, make sure that the ignition is off and the light switch is set to the zero position. In order to get to the headlight, the radiator grill must be removed. To do this, open the hood and undo the four screws above the grill. It can then be pulled up and out. The front trim is next. With vehicles with headlight wash wipe system, the covers must also be removed. Pull the cover forward with the cleaning nozzle and unclip the cover and let the cleaning nozzle go back in again. The front trim is fastened to the body with four screws. The sides of the trim can be pried off using this tool. Do this carefully so as to avoid scratches in the paint. The front trim can now be unclipped and removed from the bumper. The headlight is fastened with two screws at the lower edge and one screw at the upper edge. After you've removed these, fold the unit forward. Using a small screwdriver, unclip the plug at the back of the unit and take out the headlight. The installation takes place in the reverse order. After the headlight unit was exchanged, a functions check must be carried out. Check the parking light, low beam, high beam, turn signal and cornering light. Subsequently, check the light range adjustment in DAS. Connect the star diagnosis to the vehicle and bring over the headlight setting device. In the menu main groups, click on control units and then structure. Confirm the menu light range adjustment and then select controls. Confirm functions test and by using the keys F3, F4 and F6 check the minimum, the maximum as well as the factory position of the headlight. Minimum position maximum position and finally the factory position. With us the individual positions of the light range adjustment are correct. If this is the case with you, you can log out and begin the setting of the headlights.